Dave Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to the call of weekly sport fishing debate show. And one thing that everybody is excited about is the new Ontario record smallmouth bass, 10.15 pounds, caught by Greg Gallagher on Lake Erie near Pelee Island. And uh, with that in mind, this week's call is there will be another 10 pound smallmouth bass caught in the next five years. Keep our call, Panger. Anywhere in the world. Or are we just doing Great Lakes? Great Lakes. Great Lakes. Great Lakes. I didn't know if we were going to include BY into that, Dave. I don't know if they have smallmouth bass, but um, Listen, I'm sure you're, if they do, they're big. You've made a, a big chunk of your career on the Great Lakes targeting smallmouth bass. So when it comes to it, you're probably the authority to talk about the reality of what a 10-pound smallmouth looks like and the chances that it happens again. I can strictly go off of statistics. And statistically, there's been one. And it's been that one by 0.15 pounds. I mean, that fish was one big goby away from 9.99 pounds. And then we're still looking for a 10-pounder. You look at the world record is is, is only, what, 11.15, I believe? Yep. Uh, for the smallmouth bass. And the double-digit smallmouth bass, that's the first one that I've ever heard of in existence. And I know we're getting up there with a lot more sevens and eights that are showing up. But there is a big difference between someone who's six ten and someone who's seven foot. And there's a lot more six ten people and a lot more seven foot. And I think that you just look at the, the numbers and I think this is a generational fish, Dave. I don't think, I don't think in our, our lifetime we'll see another 10 pound smallmouth bass because of how many things have to go right for that fish to exist and then get caught in a massive million square mile oasis of the Great Lakes. Statistically, I don't disagree. You know, you look at, I mean, let's not even talk about tens. Let's talk about nines. The Ohio state record, obviously caught by Randy Van Dam a nine, eight. It's a statistically similar fish. You know what I mean? Like he caught it in the middle of the summer. Make it a little later in the fall. It could be a 10 pounder. It was 29 years ago, dude. He caught it in 1993. So when you look at it, you're just like, how can you bet it? But here's the weird thing. Statistically on paper, yes, it's been so long since we've had another nine. And you do hear about eights and stuff like that. So statistically, there's no way it should be beaten. It, it, my answer should be 1000% no this will be the record 5 years from now but you just see the number of sevens that people are catching today the seven is now the five in the past it, it really is you know like a heavy six or a seven pound bass almost every great lakes angler i know that spends a lot of time smallmouth bass fishing has caught a seven pound smallmouth bass or a heavy six but that's how it used to be 15, 20 years ago with five pounders. So the fives are now the sevens. So the sevens are now the nines. And I'm saying with everything and the one thing that stands out. When people first started looking at the age of that fish, people said, oh, it's 25, 30 years old, because that's what people were used to that math with gobies and with clearer water because of zebra mussels and with everything that's gone on in the Great Lakes, small bass are growing quicker than they ever have in the past. So I will say statistically, it shouldn't be beat, but deep down inside, it feels like I'm saying somebody's got us. Uh, so hard to predict. A are 10 you going to go with yes? I'm going yes. You're going, going yes. yes. Just because it's that's skewing exciting. that way. It's skewing that way. Look but is at there all not of a, the, is there not a ceiling? I mean, did the world record in the history of time, Dave, is 11.15. Uh-huh. This was 10.15. It's been 30 years between it. I know that you might say five or seven is the new five and nine is the new seven. But at some point, don't they just max out with size? I mean, isn't it was that isn't one? The, the odds of that fish surviving and getting caught and running into, I mean, at 10 pounds, I mean, is there just not a genetic ceiling for these smallmouth bass? I mean, it, it, hypothetically, if you want to keep stepping up the ladder, where does it stop? I'm saying it's got to stop somewhere. And I think it stops at 10 pounds. 
it, and it may, it very well may, which is an incredible record. I mean, you're, but if you look at that fish, if I looked at that fish and it was one of those big distended, like the former New York state record that was caught in thousand islands was eight, three, a few years ago, I think, or eight, five. And you look at that fish, dude, it's got a giant belly. It almost like people said that, that fish must have a tumor or something like that. And it's still two pounds off. And you think that there's a chance a 10 no, could come out of but there look and that at the was a genetic caught. Dude, it wasn't even, it was thick in their own words. They said that that fish had a lot of space to gain. So I'm saying, yeah, I believe, I believe there's a future in 10 pound bass. But I the mean, great if not, lakes, the great lakes is the key there, Dave, 100%. where we're talking. I mean, I think you could have a, a environment that was rich. Like what is it up there? Simcoe or even what we've seen at yeah. Cayuga or something that has the bait population that is, that is even more conducive to a longer growing season and more nutrients or protein than a goby uh, at the time, which is big. So I think if you see a 10, it's more likely to come out of those. Like, that's why I think it's even, that's why there's no. been one ever caught out of the great lakes. And that's why Ontario, I mean, dude, those fish go their whole lives without getting seen. You think someone would catch a 10 if there, if there's, dude, there was an eight, five caught out of Cayuga this year. The new I know, New but York that's State not record. the Great Lakes. But that's Cayuga. I mean, in my opinion, I'm totally the opposite of you. I think that there's more likelihood of it to come from the Great Lakes than there is. Then why from... haven't we seen eights and nines? We've seen eights. the Great Lakes. We've seen eights. We haven't seen a lot of nines. But Randy Van Dam's is, one, is a nine. One nine pounder out of the Great Lakes? Yeah. Well, dude, one. I mean, here's here's where I'm sitting. If I don't believe that you could beat that record or catch a 10, then I might as well just stop fishing. I'm not for saying you bass. can't. We're just talking I mean, about not it in the that next I five years. Record. Plus, plus, add this. If the angler is smallmouth fishing, there's a very good chance that they, I mean, what is the landing hook to land ratio on a 10 pounds smallmouth, Dave? Like you also are going to have a higher chance of even if someone does hook it, that that fish doesn't make it to the boat on five, yeah. six, seven, eight pound test, 30 foot spinning rod rough seas i mean it's not like a two and a half pounder that you boat flip but that's what allows it to get to 10 if it was on one of those smaller lakes where it would get more pressure i mean there's fish on the great lakes that live their entire life and never see a fishing lure there it is such a massive playing field and the food forage base everybody blames gobies for getting these fish but it's not just gobies i mean the lake lake the Great Lakes are in better shape today than they were 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So I just think it's, I mean, it's setting up that it could happen. Statistically on paper, there's no way it should happen, but I believe it could happen. And I'm going statistics. I'm calling it. Of course you are a numbers guy. I believe in dreams, Matt. Don't you believe in dreams? Well, you told me to be a bad guy over a I fish. Believe I'm, just I saying, can fly. I'm just saying I think it's a generational fish, Dave. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I mean... I don't think we're going to wake up in the next five years and be like, holy cow, someone else caught a 10 pound smallmouth. I just got a text. A buddy of mine just caught a 10. I'm only joking. Let us know what you guys think. Will it happen or won't it happen? Keep our call.